Welcome back guys to Golden Sun, where after defeating Tret the Tree and then visiting Kalima, we've gained ourselves two more Jins, as well as just powering up in general with all the money that we've earned and all the equipment that we've bought. Now the problem comes to finding out where on earth we're going. Obviously the only clue we have is that we have to go to a lighthouse to get some water to heal this tree. However, the fact that uh, I found the map button and now still looking at it, don't really know where on earth I'm going. And we see all these mountain rages and all that around and the water blocking the way. Either it's somewhere Klima-ish or it's somewhere up north, which seems like there's a passage up here anyway. So to be honest, I'm going to go checking up there first. It's time to get exploring the map properly again. So let's get moving around and go over this bridge up over here. Now, wasn't it something about Hammett was... Well, he's been captured already, hasn't he? <laughs> Everyone wanted to head north after all, so we're just going to head north ourselves. Let's take down these rats with our new artifact. It's been stunned. Well, it's been defeated, is more to the point, with our new longsword. Which means our damage split was not very good there. <laughs> but overall, the attack damage we're going to do, we're going to finish things off. We've got ourselves pretty much fully geared in terms of attack stuff. We could only really equip ourselves another broadsword on to do even more, but let's keep following the path that's been presented to us and hope for the best. Wherever on earth it is we're going. Well, we found ourselves a cave. That's good for exploration's sake, but if it's the way we're going or not, I do not know. Right then, let's go damage over here, stun voltage. That didn't do too much damage, is the rat one guarding? He is indeed. As is the way, Stun Vulture seems to come out a lot. This artifact equip on you was not a bad idea at all. We now have ourselves ridiculous power and now Ivan can just attack as well, so it's good for us. Alright, we've reached the Bilibian Cave entrance. Whatever that is and whatever that will do. Okay, can't go that way. So let's get onwards and have a look around. Well, here's an interesting point here because I think we know what to do with that. Requiring a little bit of moving around of gin here. Right, let's give you that. Will that give any of us the growth synergy? Because once we see a tree like that, it's all about going ba -doo. It's a vine! Alright, let's switch it back because of course the bonus for him having two and upgrading his class is too good to leave out. So we got growth there, which enables us to jump over here. And, oh, okay, I was about to say not much else, but we actually got down a little bit of a ledge there into the Bilibling Cave. So, where on earth does that lead us to? Well, we checked a chest, and we got ourselves an elven rapier. So that's not bad in itself, right. So let's have a look at the overall stats that this has. Right, that will up the damage for you. Who else can we give it to? Right, we could give it to you here as well. To be honest, I'm going to go and actually equip this on you, and then I'm going to move the broadsword onto Garrett, and now we are really nicely equipped. Nicely done, right, so Vorpal Sword on you, two artifacts going around with, in fact that adds us some more money when we're selling stuff again. Now do we fall down there, or do we go around the normal way and see what was out there? That's what I'm wondering. Right, seems that these are the enemies we've normally been facing thus far, so not too much of a bother for us. Vorpal smash is <laughs> oh, slash is unleashed. We dodged a blow over there. And with no fire gin to take this guy out, it's a shame really. We're gonna have to stun voltage you down! Or maybe not, and now we're doing some nice physical damage as well. Fully equipped. That's one way I'd like to put it. Right, so a normal entrance is over there, I'd have to say. And that probably counts for that entrance there. Oh, we can just jump down over here? Okay, we could have hopped over, but using growth got us extra items. So that brings us down to here, which is back in the normal track. So a little bit of extra exploration got us goodies. I wonder what your overall weakness is, sir. And we stunned that one. Not that we needed to. Defeated, the longsword comes in for 34 damage. Really, now you're actually somewhat our weakest one if you don't have procs going on. Or normal attacks, Garrett. You do a fair amount more damage than Ivan normally anyway, but 
without the proc, when he procs and he can put stuns on people. Okay, we got a doorway up there. A ghoul appeared with gnomes. Let's just take down the ghoul. Leave me alone, gnome. Well, that is definitely enough damage for everyone at this point in time. My overall defense is such that we can survive most now. And as we just keep on picking up experience, things are going to get better for us. Okay, nothing over here. Just a completely dead end. Brilliant. Even that rock wasn't searchable. So let's get spreading out the damage a bit more. Let's be honest, we should just all focus on one and take them down. We shouldn't focus on Sticky Goo hitting us and dropping our defense. Ow! Well, it only did one damage otherwise. Finish that one off. Stun voltage. Didn't work. Okay, we finished that one. I obviously should just attack one first and just take him out that way. It's a lot easier. We're not using spells to go with it. I'm quite happy to have got myself another artifact straight away like that. Well, let's keep going around as we're reaching icy climates, it seems. So, let's spread out the damage once again. A flare wall. Do you know what? All out. Plasma will do tons. An attack there will do enough. We got Bolt back to hit Garrett there. Guard casted physically, but what we're coming in with is spells, sir. The other gnome seems to have managed to survive quite nicely. Oh well. We can say these things, but it doesn't mean they're going to stay up much longer. Right, so we have ourselves... Can we burn these? No. Bits of ice everywhere. Oh, we got ourselves ice pillars as well, and... Puddles on top of that, with fire next to them, we've got ourselves torches with chests, another possible pillar. Just wondered if these could be moved in any way. No. Well, this brings lots of interest, that's for sure. Let's bring forth all the enemies that it brings as well. Right, so. Hmm, how's the best way to deal with these, I wonder? Right, a quake. Flare wall and a plasma to take out. Let's take out the gnomes first. I don't know. We'll deal the most damage to them. Earth definitely doesn't. Earth was just a waste of time. I should have just attacked. The flare wall hits those guys. It would have probably took out the. Oh, it worked quite nicely in the end. Right. One left. Means that we go full out attack. Fell them. 97 experience. No more level ups for us. And then wonder what's going on. Okay, fire melts what possibly the puddle is an ice pillar, which means if we want to get through, we move fire next to it. Okay, so is there a way out over here? It seems there's a way out over here as well. But we want to know what's behind there and see what we can get in terms of goodies. There's got to be something behind here as well, so melt that yet again. I didn't actually want to go out the other place, I just wanted to check what was around, so... We can get ourselves up on high and get ourselves a treasure chest! And we got a vial. What is a vial when it's at home? Right, so... That's not the right button. It's that one we need to go. Oh, this is getting full on items, but it replenishes 500 HP! To be honest, it might be some nice sellable fodder at this point in time, if you know what I mean. We didn't have that much HP to heal in the first place, so... Another chest gained. And more enemies appear. So, should we go gnome first, actually? No, gnome first. They don't follow up the target I want to. It's too bad we can't get a cursor stick mode or something, or function. Ivan's losing a bit of HP, though. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not fair. Don't split into more oozes. I didn't say you could do that. Well, in the meantime, I guess if there's multiple ooze, then they can meet multiple spells. That's not the spell I wanted either. Plasma will come down. I need to get the cure on Ivan, because his HP is less than half. And that'll finish the job by the look of it. All that firepower. And no fire gin to use to get the secrets going. The extra experience, the possible extra rewards. It's extra money as well. So, no way to go on this precipice here. We find ourselves even more enemies, oozes and maulers. 
Now we know that using spells with you is never the best idea, so we'll attack the Mauler. Apart from that, a Flare Wall on the Oozes and another Plasma. Let's take care of the splitting foes first. We know that we've got the spells to do it. Vorpal Slash came in to do a nice bit of damage. Most importantly, three of our targets are down. And it's quite good that we healed Ivan, isn't it? Mauler goes down, and we've got 115 experience to reach level 10, and we learned Cure Well, so we can cure it even better. Cure Well is after what it said. We cure well, we do. Right then, so, over the bridge, and keep on going. Hopefully, this is the right way. There's a gnome appears. Bye-bye, gnome. I'm sorry for all that you're about to receive. A vocal slash will end that nicely. Our party's power spiked up quite a bit from a few episodes back where I even went down. That kind of kicked me into min-max mode. And everything was right with the world once again. Of course, we can melee these guys down to restore a little bit more HP, I would have said. But then, of course, things didn't go too good. Go on, use your stun voyage and actually stun him. Ha ha! It does what I wish. So I knew Garrett could take that guy down, so he's paralyzed and cannot move, so I may as well just use a cure just to make sure someone is full HP at this point in time. Let's make sure I am. Though so Ivan probably will finish the job. Yes, he will. No cure for me, I should have defended. To be honest though, at any point in time I want, I can just go bing, bash, boop. And he'll restore his PP, no problem as we walk around, but it seems we've reached the next town, and most importantly, I think we've reached ourselves the destination we wanted. So we reached the town of Emil. What's going on? Oh, oh, oh but here then. Slidey McSlidington. Right, gravestones all around. Can't check them at all. And we've got ourselves, this looks like the revivey place. Hello. Have you visited the old couple who live near the entrance of town? No, I haven't. Come here, went to their house. You might have seen her if you stopped there. Okay. I may only be a student, but I can act as your healer. Are you quite a good one? Welcome, weary wanderers. What aid you seek? Well, we don't need healing at the moment. We have no evil following us that I know of. Most importantly, though, we have ourselves a thousand gold that was revealed from there. So brilliant. Let's go in the elderly couple's house, then, if it is. How are you feeling? <laughs> He's been coughing for quite a while now. That's a crone's voice, you know. You'll feel better soon. <laughs> How do you feel now? Much better. Didn't sound it. No, Grandpa. You must push yourself too hard. Thank you, Mia. I can't imagine how this village would ever manage without you. <laughs> Don't mention it. You should rest in bed too, Mum. She had an oldly man's cough at that moment in time. And who are you? Can I help you? Was that the lighthouse? It can't be. Only I can. Oh no, Alex! Okay then, so things are going on. What happened in the lighthouse of the northeast? I don't know, madame. Let's find out your mindset. Mia's clan once lived here and guarded the lighthouse of the east. Now she's all alone. I feel much better, thanks to Mia. I should be fine now. Mia is a good girl. I wish I had a daughter like her. It's a shame her last apprentice, Alex, disappeared. Leaving her all alone. Okay then, well apart from that, I'm sorry. If you've got a chest here with an empty bottle in it, that could be quite interesting. Now let's see what an empty bottle is. Exactly anyway. Extracts water from a magic spring. Hmm. Yes, we might be needing this empty bottle for something, don't you think? Alright then, apart from that, ah, stop sliding around. Oh, we can actually slide into it over here as well. Whee! We can slide all around the place. Whatever that might actually give us or do, that's another question. We'll just slide down the path. Hello, and... 
Hmm. Right, there's a hole here. Right. A snowman stands out like a sore thumb, so let's try to get to that. So we've slid around a bit. We've actually got ourselves a chest for all that sliding, so that worked out quite nicely. We've got ourselves another vial there for 500 HP heal. Well, we need that so much, but still, we can bring ourselves out over here. What's going on, chili guy? I'm freezing! Is Mia here yet? Well, Mia ran off to the lighthouse, and we're just now messing around on ice. This epidemic has hit almost everyone in the mill! I'm sick too! <laughs> what would happen to us if we didn't have Mia? <laughs> Everyone's getting it. So it's an actual illness that's going around the place, is it? Apart from that... Move! Right, with you there, I think we could possibly go around doing something here. Right, apart from the fact that we could possibly buy better equipment and stuff we just all used our money for. Let's move around a little bit and use that to get in and find ourselves a fiery friend who doesn't want to fight it seems and so the Mars Gin Fever joined Garrett okay then so we'll set that which will change your stats yet again HP goes up a ton look at the attack gains it's brilliant we gain the ability or the class of soldier so we'll take that and run with it Thank you, Mr. Snowman, for helping me out so much. Now I've just got to figure out what else is in town. Should we check out the shop quick, or go after Mia is the question. Hi, are you two Emil? Yes, I am. I should warn you, there's a bad cold going around right now. Try not to catch it. Sounds like more than a cold, to be honest. One, two, three, four. I tend to stay indoors a lot when the weather turns cold. It's not good for your health, though, so I try to work out. Indeed, right. Let's get on in and see if there's any artifacts to buy, except everyone's definitely ill. I can't sell weapons until I'm cured. Oh, I'm getting chills. Oh. So I guess our current equipment set is the best equipment set we can muster. In the meantime, though, I'd assume Mia's run all the way over here. It's a nearby Mercury Lighthouse. Fountain of Healing. Water of Hermes. It brings rejuvenation to all that lives. Well, that's good. Can I take it, then? Fountain seems dry. Oh, the fountain starts specifically there, does it? Hello there, young lady. Somebody is here. Well, it's me. I'm right behind you. Someone is here. Can you hear it too? Yes? No? No, I can't. Sorry. You can't hear it? Well, I can. Alex is the only one other than I who can enter Mercury Lighthouse. But this statue is blocking my way. I, I can sort that, you know. I'm quite good at these things. It's quite handy at times. Did you do that? Yes, I did. I knew it. I saw a ghostly force pushing it. Which means you're a synergy user as well, isn't it? You you could see our synergy? Synergy? Is that what you call that power? We had thought you were using synergy when you healed that old man, Mia. Well, that was the big giveaway. That's a special power handed down to members of the Mercury Clan, from generation to generation. It's called Ply, power generated through meditation. It was once much stronger. This Mercury Clan sounds a little like people of Vel, don't you think? Sure, that the Swamp protects a special power, just like us. I have to go, I have to find whoever entered the lighthouse. And so casting heal on the mystical portal? Is that what opens it up or stops it from blocking us? It's not so much a mystical portal indeed, it was a barrier. But apart from that, when you see other places like this, you've just got to check them out. Before we head on inside, it seems there's a long way up to go. What's with this exactly? That's a question in of itself. Why can I get up here? Can I push these blocks? No, it's just a way up for reasons unknown. Let's jump on in then. Oh, hello! It seems that Mia's having a little bit of trouble. 
And so, let's get to saving here. But of course, as a cliffhanger does, next episode, join us then for more Golden Sun. And I'll see you guys around as it looks like we have to do battle. Bye-bye.